<laughs> that slow moment that you're going up the roller coaster, tick, 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 tick. And then as soon as it comes down, that very moment that you feel coming down, that's the exhilaration that it feels like when you win. I fought because I got tired of struggling. Even though I was a teacher, I struggled. I couldn't afford to put food on the table continuously for my son and I. And at the time, as a single mom, that's frustrating. I would starve myself just to make sure my son got food. Don't get me wrong, the practices suck sometimes and they're a lot more challenging. But I love that feeling of getting in the ring. Hi, my name is Maureen Renault. I am 9-6-1. I fight for the UFC and I train here at MMA Gold. My upbringing was a very fun childhood. We played a lot. In fact, it was pretty much hard for my parents to get me in at night. Once the sun came up, ate breakfast, and I was outside playing with friends, it's nothing like it is today where kids, you see kids outside and you're like, oh my God, there's kids outside. I was always outside playing. I was such a tomboy. I showed an interest in karate. Uh, growing up, karate was big. And instead of putting me in karate, he put my brother in karate. And my dad was very stern, very traditional Belizean, where he didn't think that women belonged in martial arts or fighting. It was more so women belonged in the kitchen, believe it or not. And, and that's just the way it was. But I grew up next to him watching boxing matches, boxing fights all the time. And I always showed an interest. And Honestly, I got in a fight pretty much from first grade on. Every year I was in school, I was a fighting, fighting little girl. <laughs> My first memory of MMA is when they did a documentary on Gina Carano and Chris Cyborg getting ready for their first female match on live TV. All that and I said, there's this, this is, women can do this? You can fight somebody, get paid for it and not get arrested? Absolutely, I was interested. Interesting, I, the school that I work for, my vice principal at the time, she had one professional fight as a boxer and I was interested. You know, she talked about boxing and how it was a discipline. I grew up watching boxing. I said, will you teach me? And so for about a year and a half, I went into her garage almost weekly and she taught me footwork. She taught me, you know, just the basics and it just took off from there. I had actually signed with Invicta maybe about three weeks prior to that and I was supposed to fight Irene Aldana and 10 days before we were supposed to fight she got bronchitis and had to pull out and I felt like everything had crumbled. I was like, oh, I'm never going to get my opportunity. I'm never going to get a chance. You know, I had really trained really hard for that fight and I was really upset and so my husband at the time, he goes, you know what, let's go have pizza. And I was like, okay, that makes me feel better. So we were eating pizza and I'm just having a good old time. My coach at the time calls and said, Mo, that's my nickname, don't get fat. I'm like, what are you talking about? We got to fight for you. It's against Alexis in the UFC, January 3rd. And I'm all, put the pizza down. Heck yes, let's run it. It's one of those things where you know it's a possibility, but you don't feel like it is real just because you worked really hard. And in, in every loss that I've had, I've worked really hard. There's only one that I can name where I legitimately, two actually, that I can name where, okay, you know what, I, I could have done a better job in my camp. I could have had a better corner, but the rest of them, I worked extremely hard and I, it was just kind of one of those moments. It's like, what else could I have done? You know, I'm not an easy fight. So if somebody looks at me and says, you know, that could be an easy fight. I, I'm just, I, I know me and I know that whatever I bring to the table, it's going to be a little bit more than what you bring to the table. I'm going to prepare a little bit more because I learned from those losses. So I won't be an easy fight for her. And in all aspects of the game, 
no stone will go un unturned. Very little MMA gyms around that offer the coaching staff, the environment that this place offers. Um, and there's very few people that I allow in my circle. I've learned early on that don't trust anybody and be suspicious of everybody. And when Aspen and Jim came into my life, it, I, it could not have been a better time. At first I was hesitant because I have never trained with anybody outside my gym. And at the time, the gym I was at did not allow it, believe it or not. They did not allow you to train with anybody else. You were not allowed to go anywhere else and train. And I went on a whim and I brought them in and it changed the game forever.